Hey, welcome back to a tech by Mira and in today's tutorial what we're going to do we are going to build a bingo card that's right a bingo card using Python 3 interesting right now we are not going to build the game itself that will be in a later tutorial in this part we're just going to do a bingo card that's it a small part of the game not the game itself very simple for early beginners okay so first and foremost we need to import random you already know why we do import random for generating random numbers then we import pretty print this is also for getting the outcome in the desired manner in the desired format okay so first and foremost we create a variable called bingo card now you can call it bingo you can call it card that's up to you the uh, the naming that you want to do so bingo card i call it first you prepare an empty list that's the initial value then you need to define a function called call it like i give it a name random numbers so you need to define so in this case a random numbers is going to be a number where the number is going to be number equals random dot rand int and the parameters are 1 and 90 so what it means is it the rand int what it does is it will create the random integers yeah that's for integers integers between 1 and 90 where both the endpoints are inclusive that is including 1 and 90 the upper range and lower number uh, numbers endpoints are inclusive that's uh, that's what happens if you do dot rand int so random integers and then you return the number yeah then after that so this first and foremost you need this random numbers for this which we call give it a variable of number then after that um, you need to define pretty print so what, what what formatting you want in pretty print now when you run this before before in the initial phase nothing happens because we just created one function and one variable so nothing uh, nothing major so now let's create more variables and functions so then we define a function called pretty print yeah you've heard of this before earlier in my uh, other beginner project so you can go and refer to that i'll include a link to the complete playlist here in the description below so define pretty print so what's happening here is for row in bingo card because the bingo card is rows as you know already you can go and uh, do a check over there so for row in bingo for every row in bingo card that is under consideration it will print out the row and the bingo card that we are considering we'll be discussing that later in the code how we want to do the format for that okay so next we want to create another variable uh, which is a numbers list you can call it numbers list or you can just call it numbers up to you which is an empty list at the beginning so here we are doing a for loop so for i where i is an index in the range 8 because we'll be like in our rows we'll be writing 8 numbers um, uh, there'll be 8 places uh, 8 numbers sorry so for i which i'll explain when i do the format so for i in range 8 if now why i'm doing this if condition is i don't want in that in my bingo card i don't want two or three numbers to be repeated in the rows like in one uh, row let's say two is there in the second row also two i should it shouldn't happen so if it shouldn't happen then we include this line otherwise no need to include the if loop so if number not in numbers then in that case numbers dot append random numbers that means uh, so before that I just r repeat the value of number variable again so that it is defined well before we do the loop so number equals random dot randint 190 which we which we already uh, given the value earlier but we'll define it uh, we'll uh, call the variable here again we'll explain it here again allocate the value here again and then after that otherwise it'll say numbers not defined it'll give you an error message so if number not in numbers that means now what does it actually mean that means that numbers you already created a list right so if the numbers random numbers that are being generated say let's say first 
टू इज जनरेटेड नेक्स्ट टाइम आई वॉन्ट टू एड थ्री इफ थ्री इज ऑलरेडी नॉट इन द लिस्ट देन आई एड द थ्री नेक्स्ट फोर इफ फोर इज ऑलरेडी नॉट इन द लिस्ट देन आई बट फोर इज ऑलरेडी देर इन द रो इन द लिस्ट देन आई डो वॉन्ट टू एड सो दैट देर इज नो रिपीट सो दिस इज एक्सप्लेन इन अ वेरी सिंपल नॉन कोडिंग वे आई अंडरस्टैंड सो आई अंडरस्टैंड दिस वे सो I feel you will understand this way. So, if number not in numbers, then numbers meaning the list that you already allocated the empty list dot append. What happens when you do append? You add in, right? So, dot append the random numbers function that you earlier created above in the define random numbers. Yeah. So, it will make sure that already what is added, it will check. Whether it's there in the list. If not there, it will add. If it's there, it won't add that number, so that you don't get repetitive numbers in different rows. Okay. So next, what you need to do? You need to. You see, once you have these rows with the numbers and all that, you also you are supposed to sort them. Now, when do you do sort in function? When you want to arrange the data. the data sorry in a particular manner or formatting yeah so what particular manner it is we will see below when we explain the card how the format has to be so numbers dot sort but we've been asked to we we are supposed to sort it out before okay we, before designing the format so now bingo card we are doing the formatting here how we want it to appear so now remember this bingo card is going to be a two dimensional list somewhat like a dictionary or a list now here in the bingo card why it is two dimensional like i'm showing here i have made that list sign first here like a dictionary and then inside that again three other lists so it's two dimensional right so that's why i showed it this way so this is the 2d aspect of it now why is it 2d because you need to first make the list for the card itself then within that sub list so the sub list is going to be the three rows that we have in mind and in every row there will be like let's say for example the first row there will be three numbers then again second number a second row of three uh, data again third row of three data something like that yeah so let's see how it's happening so the first row but remember in the first row there will be numbers first let me explain the first row so the first row since we are arranging it by index remember remember we declared the i so the first row will be obviously starting with index 0 right any first item need to start with index 0 remember then the second item will be index 1 so numbers whatever random numbers were generated so numbers with zero index comma this is the easiest way to do the format then numbers index 1 comma give a space then numbers index 2 so 0 1 2 so this will form part you can make more rows but this i'm just showing for example say so this will form part of the first row then Instead, instead of going and doing a second row physically, I just did comma. It's much easier. I find it easier. Space and now now do the second sub list. So what I do again inside the second sub list, I write numbers index three. Remember zero one two is taken up. So next is going to be obviously index three, which will be below the index zero, right? Then after that, now next one is supposed to be. number 4 but we want the string called bingo in caps to be written in the fourth position in between or rather in between uh, in between number 3 and uh, uh, numbers of index 3 and the numbers of index 4 we want in the center we want to write bingo so what i do is numbers index 3 comma then i write the string bingo we don't want number there yeah so bingo you write the string this is a specific format we want comma then numbers index 4 because the number has to follow the same sequence you cannot break and make it number 5 numbers 5 so comma so that uh, sub list is over next sub list for the next row is going to be 
num obviously numbers index 5 comma then numbers index 6 so index you show with the square brackets right index 6 comma uh, followed by numbers index 7 so like you already have until index 7 since bingo has come in between so uh, if you can see the space eight spaces have been taken up in three rows so that's the reason we used i for i in range eight if you remember at the beginning when we defined the numbers yeah the numbers list so now we form the 2d list here we, we, you can also call it the nested list so then you just want to give the command for pretty print function so this will what is the idea of using pretty print as you as i told you earlier it will print out based on the output that you desire so you let's see yes there you go you have different rows coming up with bingo in the center the second row there you go it's it's as desired uh, okay sometimes it might give you an error or a bug but you can print as many times and it will come up with different random choices like see here uh, sorry about that bug <clears throat> so uh, this was the idea of sorting because you you want it in the specific format and the idea for doing the uh, the if loop was so that you don't get repetitive numbers so here if you see in none of the rows the numbers are repeating in the rows they are not repeating so that was the idea of saying if number not in numbers numbers dot append random numbers had you not done that you can do the code with that but you'll find that in two rows numbers may repeat so may repeat or may not repeat but there's a probability of repeating so i'm just checking i'm running the test and i can see you can see also here so many numbers coming up with bingo in the center and none of the rows have repetitive numbers so that's the idea i can print as many times as possible just to figure it out yeah so our test is successful we could do the pretty print uh, we could do the print bingo card but you will find in the internet um, lots of bingo card games which are done the card done in a separate way this is for absolute beginners that's why you might find it different slightly different and more simplified than the others because this is for beginners later on uh, it will become more complex as we go and as i said earlier this is not the bingo card game in itself this is just a small module of it how to design the bingo card in this specific manner using python in the simplest of styles using so what all loops you use you use the for loop you use the if loop then you did the define functions and you created variables you also uh, did the sort inbuilt you also use sort which because you know sort is an inbuilt python function yeah for sorting the data so you used all these in order to and not to forget the random function also and uh, random function yeah to create the random integer so you uh, by doing this uh, project you were able to learn all these things yeah so that was the idea of doing this small mini project for beginners i hope you enjoyed doing it if you have any other suggestions just mention it in the comments below let me know if you find this interesting and do not forget to smash that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed in order to get more such tutorials and in order to motivate me to produce more such python tutorials and projects for you to understand even more and more because we all learn together we all share projects i love to teach beginners and i myself am an intermediate in python but i want to do projects for beginners and i enjoy doing it see you in the next subscribe share and like